Good morning, guys. It's, uh, oh, geez. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? It's Wednesday, November 2nd. Um, it's about noon, a little afternoon. Um, had some, uh, breakfast this morning, then just kind of sat on the computer and did some research and stuff, uh, stuff I got to do before I go to California. So, uh, got that taken care of. Now we're going to try to get this basement, uh, under control all of this stuff and all of this stuff is staying um, pretty much the only thing down here that's still that's going is this bag right here which is the bag that I'll be checking I'll have that and then I'll have my two gun cases and then everything else I'm gonna carry on but everything else down here is staying but uh, I obviously don't want to leave it in disarray and and uh, you know, just completely everywhere <laughs> for my parents to take care of. Um, that would be irresponsible, so there's a lot of stuff that I'm leaving here that I'm not bringing with me just because um, where I'm moving in California isn't really where I plan on staying, like settling. Things could obviously change, but right now my plan is really just kind of a two-year plan. Might be a little bit longer than that, might be a little bit shorter than that. But yeah, all of like the the memento stuff and things that are really important to me, um, things that my parents want to pass down to me, um, all of that stuff is going to stay here until I, you know, until I settle and I'm settled in kind of a career and I have the money to ship it out and all of that good stuff. So, uh, there's enough space in the basement here for me to leave the stuff and, you know, my parents are gracious enough to, to hold on to it for me. So, I think I'm going to try to fit everything into uh, this bin right here. Unfortunately, my battery is about to die, and I have not ordered another one yet, so I'm going to go plug the battery in real quick. Um, so I'm not going to have a whole lot of footage of me packing up stuff, but uh, I'm sure you're sick of seeing packing footage. So, uh, so yeah, we'll get that done, and then i got to run out to the post office and get uh, money order and mail some stuff, and we'll see where else the day takes us. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys. So uh, here at Joanne Fabrics, uh, gonna pick up a little, uh, couple little like glass vial things. Um, might sound a little bit morbid, but um, the two dogs I've had in my life, we have the ashes for them. But I'd like to bring some with me, so I'm gonna find some little vials to uh, put their ashes in, so I can bring them to California. So you guys wouldn't have been able to hear it, but uh, walking in here, the plaza that I'm in is already playing Christmas music. It's November second. So unfortunately, the only thing that I th can find are these guys, but that's a bit bigger than I'm looking for. So I think I might have to head up the other craft store, which is Hobby Lobby. All right, guys, so I asked an employee in there, and yeah, that's all they have. So uh, we're going to head to Hobby Lobby real quick before I got to pick my mom up and see if we can find what we need there. Hi, sorry about the wait. How can I help you? No problem. Could I get a, uh, I'll do a medium fry, a 10-piece McNugget, and a small Sprite? Alright, that'll be 6 dollars in your first window. Alright, thank you. I think I'm gonna go with this one. It sounds like a horcrux in here. Very high pitched. All right guys, finished up at Hobby Lobby. Now we're gonna head back. Uh, I dropped my mom off for a hair appointment about an hour ago. So uh, gonna head back there and pick her up and then head home and I don't know, do something. All right guys, um, so it's about I don't know, four something? 4.45. Um, so, uh, been talking to a potential buyer of the truck. Um, but they, uh, the inspection was up in September, which wasn't a big deal for me because I haven't been driving the truck. But um, the person that wants to buy it, I think would like for uh, the inspection to be current. 
so yeah we're gonna go grab the truck and head over to Valvoline and get uh, get the uh, inspection taken care of all right guys so uh, here at Valvoline waiting to get the uh, inspection done and hopefully it passes if it doesn't then uh, I mean it'll be unbeknownst to me so far as I know it should pass but there's a lot of stuff that I might not be privy to so uh, fingers crossed all right guys so we're back at Hobby Lobby um, not here for Hobby Lobby I actually uh, got a text from a guy that seems pretty interested in the truck so uh, drove out here to kind of meet him a little bit closer to where he's located so uh, we're waiting on him to come out and see if he likes the truck and uh, we'll see where it goes hopefully I don't have to take it to a dealership if I can sell it for what I owe or just a little bit over what I owe then that's awesome but if not so be it all right guys so uh filling the truck up with some gas just showed it to that guy but uh he might be interested he might not i'm not sure he's gonna let me know but uh yeah all right guys it's uh about 10 30. um gonna call it a night just uh edited and uploaded not yesterday's video but the day before got some uh stuff going on tomorrow gotta show my truck to uh some guy around 11, 11.30-ish. Um, got to run to the bank to pay off the loan on the truck with my dad. And then got chiropractic at 3.30. Other than that, just uh, going to take care of some more stuff here at home. Get it all uh, ready for me to ship out. I hope, you guys are, uh, hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I know that there's not a ton of you uh, watching, but... For those of you that are watching, it, it really means a lot to me, truly. The vlogging community is uh, one that I've just joined, but I have been watching for the past six years. You know, started watching Shay Carl six years ago, um, and now I think I'm subscribed to, gosh, I don't know, maybe 20 different vlog channels, ballpark, um, that I, and I do watch them on a, on a regular basis. Um, Obviously, sometimes I get behind because that's a lot of videos. But yeah, it's um, it's a community that I have been uh, watching for a long time, and it's really changed my life. Um, I don't think I've shown you guys my tattoo. I have a tattoo that says, All the secrets of life are hidden behind the word cliché. And uh, that is a quote from Shea Carl. Um, Shea Butler, who uh, runs the Shea Tards channel. Um, he really, really, truly um, changed the way that I look look at life. Um, obviously, can't just say that I uh, took his ideals and ran with them. You know, it's uh, still something that I'm working on. I'm still working on myself. It really, he changed the way that I see life and where it can go and how you need to take risks and you need to do these things that, you know, maybe, uh, maybe people don't see as wise. Um, but you do them anyways because it's what's in your heart and it's what you think you want to do. And, you know, if that changes, so be it. But uh, but he really kind of made me rewire my thinking and uh, realize that I'm living this life for me, not, f not for anybody else. So anyways, if you're watching these, it really means a lot to me. Um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully this community will grow, not for fame. Um, that's not not what I'm looking for. Just hopefully, uh, I'd, I'd love to know that my videos are helping people or bringing people uh, a little bit of joy to their day. That's that's the reason why I'm doing this, and uh, I hope that I have fulfilled that notion um, to you. So, but anyways, I'm going to call it a night, and uh, I will catch you guys tomorrow. And. Uh, get some more some more life done thanks ah uh.